Hi guys, Aussie Coin Hunter here. Well, uh, with the last video that you saw, um, called Flying Out of the Ground, that was a site where I got permission from a guy, a gentleman named David, and um, basically he, in speaking to him after, I took the fines to him, and I ended up giving him all the coins. Except for, uh, I wanted to keep the shilling. I actually said to him as condition of uh, going on there that I would show all the items that I found. Uh, I just wanted that opportunity to save anything that might be in the ground on that site because it hadn't been touched before. And you saw the results. So I basically I kept the, uh, the little car. Badge, the well, the back, the uh, badge off the car. I would have liked to have kept the farthing. Mm. But um, he said, as a boy, he'd never seen it, even seen a farthing. And I thought, well, hey, you know, this is uh, his site. And the condition I gave was that I would give him, you know, we would talk about who keeps what after. So uh, he, although I would have loved to have kept that, he's got it. And I'm happy that he's got it because he's happy with that. He then turned around and told me about um, another site that he'd been uh, working on and uh, told me to go over there and gave me permission. So I went there at night time. Uh, well, I've, I've got to show you some footage that I filmed after I came home. And basically what it was is it's an original large block. They'd um, renovated the front house and subdivided and fenced it off so they could build another house in the back, what was the backyard. So I went in the backyard, went over, dug everything that set the machine off, and you'll see some pictures of what I've dug in a minute. But um, you'll also see pictures of when I found, it was probably about the second or third signal on the site from the... Hi guys, look I'm a bit dirty, I just got home, took my daughter to a dance with a friend and while we are down there I had a permission so... My wife sat in the car while I went and have a look at what I've found. There it is, the button. I've just been taking some photos. And let's have a look. Zoom in. Jail Department of Western Australia. The crown and the big belt. Detail on that. Uh, you'll see some other photos in a minute, but that is in perfect condition. It even has, you can't tell in this light, but it even has gold gilled. No makers marks on the back, no dents or scratches best signal on the site. But wow, what a find. I've got to date it yet. It's got a good loop on the back. Very well put together. Quite heavy too. How cool is that? Okay, so um, I got in touch with the museum because uh, initially I put out on Facebook pictures of the button and um, I also uh, searched the internet. Yeah, I ended up having to call the museum because it was just, everyone was just coming up blank. And um, this, uh, they said they would help me. They sent it on to another department in the museum. 
And I'm just going to read to you what their response was. Your, in your inquiry regarding the, go the jail button you discovered was passed on to me in the, in the hope that I could assist you. We have many examples of buttons from officer uniforms in our collection here at the prison. In this case, your button can, be first, can first be dated by the words in inscribed, uh, inscribed. What is today the Department of Corrective Services in Western Australia was once called the Jail Department. From 1890 to 1947, therefore your button can be dated to this time period. We can narrow down the date further by the type of crown found on the button. This is a stylized version of, of the St. Edward's crown, also known as the Queen's crown, which was used by Queen Victoria on insignia and was in use prior to her death. It was replaced on insignia by her son in 1902 with the Tudor crown or King's crown. Therefore, we can be confident that your button was manufactured between 1890 and 1902. We have several examples in our collection of buttons uh, the same as yours. Most of these were donated to the prison by a descendant of a prison officer who wore these buttons as part of his uniform in the 1930s and 40s. Hope this assists you with your research into your find. So that button turns out to be in such great condition and it's 1890 to 1902, definite, from the museum people. And that's a first for me. I've never had to go as far as to contact the professionals, uh, historian people, about anything that I've found. So once again, I'd like to thank David for his permission and opportunity to go on his land before houses were built on it and save this bit of... Um, lost history from that period of time so a really nice jail prison officers button with gold guild Take care, good luck out there, and bye for now.